What's up guys and welcome back to another video today and today we are playing Forza Horizon 4 um, You might be asking why is this video being posted on Thursday? because um, Don't you post Forza videos on Friday now because of school? Well, guess what a little new thing called Super Stev Super 7 came out and you've probably already heard of it because you know I'm a day behind on everything um yeah, but Super 7 came out, so we got two new cars, plus the uh, Mercedes Hammer that we're going to uh, unlock uh, on Friday. So, here we go. We have the Austin 7. You know, Super 7, Austin 7. Yeah. <laughs> it's from 1924. It's an older car. It's rear wheel drive and D-Class. Surprisingly, it's got 3.1 speed, 4.1 handling, 3, le 3 acceleration, 3 launch, 4.4 braking. I'm not going to lie, if when you look at the stats, like this is like, hmm, that's kind of cool for 1924. But when you look at the 10 horsepower, how does this 3.1 match up i don't know maybe it's because the weight is it's it's really light car it's only 772 pounds but it's got 10 horsepower and 28 foot pounds of torque i am very confused on how it has 3.1 speed but who knows i don't know whatever let's go take this thing for a spin but first we're gonna look at it here it is Pretty fancy, am I right? Oh, we're taking the hood off. Look at that. Look at that beast of an engine right there. 10 horsepower destruction, destruction engine right there. That, that engine is going to ride till the end. That thing is the most reliable engine here in this entire game. <laughs> All right, let's listen to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the suspension. It's just bouncy. Can we do a donut? Oh, you hear that little wheel spin? It's so slow. <laughs> Oh, this is great. I love this. I think this... Is this faster than the Peel P50? I don't know. It's kind of close. All right. Well, let's get into a race. And we're off. Look at all those... That's like a, a gangster group that's just... Look at that. Just a bunch of Austins and their lights and everything. That's kind of funny. Um... Whoa, it's snowing. Dang, okay. Well, this isn't a very good uh, window, wind, windshield wiper. Look at that. What? What? What's that going to be used for? The Like the top. Oh, okay, well. So a uh, little fun facts about this car. A uh, fun fact. A horse has more horsepower than this car. So, yeah, um... If you wanted to get to your destination any quicker, just get a horse in 1924. Because your Austin is slower than a horse. And f for some reason, reversing pretty much almost all... I'm pretty sure all of them. All of the cars in this race are Austins. And I'm in ninth. What is this? Forza, come on. Yeah. So... Um... Yeah... Yay, we're redlining at 46. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. 47. Are we gonna hit 50? Come on, we got the road to do it. Push. Push that 10 horsepower. We gotta hit 50. Honestly, in 1924, if I was going almost 50 miles per hour, I'd be kind of scared. That would be kind of awesome. All right, well, yeah, I'll see you guys in 10 hours. You see that little drift? It's, it's kind of a drift car. Yeah, I can't do this. Okay, 
I can't finish this race. It's, it's, it's too slow. All right, so it's time to paint this car. And yes, it has advanced paints. Let's freaking go. Okay, so here's all the paints that we can do. It's just these ones. Yeah. 1924 colors, guys. All right, so let's paint it something that's actually kind of cool. Um, light blue kind of looks nice. Doesn't it? It kind of has that old style. I don't know if I want to keep that old style. Should we go carbon fiber, guys? <laughs> you know what? I got a, actually kind of a funny idea. So I like the light blue. And then these things get painted, like the little things. Uh, I don't know what you call them. And we're going to make them carbon fiber. Ky carbon fiber mat. There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. This thing is going to be carbon fiber to the max. Let's make these rims carbon fiber. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, and black out the windows, too. This is great. I love this. Look at that. There's my carbon fiber 1924 Austin 7. All right, engine swaps. The inline four motorbike engine. We are going to add 200 horsepower to this thing. Hell yeah. So we're probably going to need all-wheel drive. Oh. So we're probably going to need all-wheel drive. <laughs> Just burped right there. And a turbo. <laughs> Imagine putting a turbo. Imagine putting a turbo in your 1924. Austin 7. I love this. Oh, race turbo. Put it in. Look at that. This thing's going to be maxed out horsepower. What do the brakes look like? You can't even see them. Dang, I was hoping they'd had big red brake calipers on the thing. <laughs> All right, we can you can put drift suspension on this. Okay, I'm sure I'm a hundred percent sure AR12 did that. So go check out his video if you want to see a drifting version of this. I'm just gonna assume it's not that good because it would probably just spin out really. Okay, should we put the roll bar? That's I don't like that. That's kind of ugly. Yeah, let's just do that. Whatever. Weight reduction. This car is 700 pounds, and we just put race weight reduction on it. How much does it weigh? 800? Okay. And we just got less. So 850 pounds. Let's go. All right, we got street tires, sport tires, race tires <laughs> with the Forza Horizon. That's good. That's cool. Uh, off-road tires, drag tires, and vintage race tires. That's kind of cool. I was this a was this an old vintage race car? I didn't even notice. This thing is S1 class. Well, that's awesome. Okay, apparently it doesn't want me to add thicker wheels. If they don't want me to, I guess. Okay, so I love the rims, but they're they're just they're not for me. I didn't grow up in the nineteen twenties, so not my type of wheel type wheels. Ooh, those are kinda sick, I'm not gonna lie. Those are kinda sick, I'm not gonna lie. Add them on, put them on. Oh, hold up. 21 inch rims in 1924. Let's do it. <laughs> Just a baller. Pimp my ride. 1924 Austin 7. Alright. $75,000. And we put 300 horsepower on it. And we added not even 100 pounds. We added like 40, 50 pounds on this. And then we added an extra 300 pound, uh, 300 horsepower. This thing's going to... This thing's gonna fly. I'm scared to drive this. <laughs> it's a it's a better sounding engine than the uh, than the original, but 
it's still a motorcycle engine. It's kind of funny. A little zing. All right, I'm scared. Here we go. Okay, well, the acceleration is really cool, but I was kind of thinking that launch was going to be a lot worse. That was a pretty good launch. Pretty decent launch. I was kind of hoping for wheel spin, but at the same time, I wasn't. <laughs> a little skiddy out of there. And he's gone. Top speed. Top speed. It's got three three gears. Oh, it's got four gears. Okay. What the heck? Are we going 150 in a 1920s car? We are. We just went 150 in a 1920s car. Okay. We're getting in a race. Let's do this. And we're off. Look at that acceleration. Zero to 60 in like two seconds. In a 1920s car. Uh, I will take that. I will definitely take that. Oh my gosh. Well, this is a little bit of a step up, guys. From the 10 horsepower race. Oh my... This car is actually kind of good. Look at that. We're... That's that's an old Porsche Carrera. See you later. I'm in a 1920s... 1920s Austin 7. Okay, you might have the speed over me, but... I'm... Okay. What? I can't believe this. It's snowing out, too. I forgot to change the season. We're, this is a snow race. I... I... I'm speechless. I'm speechless. This car is actually kind of good. I'm not gonna lie. The top speed is the only problem in this car. Everything else... Acceleration's decent. This is like a good S1 race car. No joke. Are you? Uh, I, I, like I said, no words. We should have just, why, why didn't we just put a motorcycle engine in this car in 2020 and these should be our cars? <laughs> I'm just joking. But imagine, imagine this instead of a Lamborghini, guys. Or Bugatti. Just trying to make these as fast as possible. That's our cars in 2020. <laughs> oh, and there goes. Yeah, well, there comes the small weight. If you hit a wall, you're, you're dead. <laughs> okay, well, um, small weight. I just noticed I said small weight. Lightweight, sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I am pretty proud of this car. Yep, that window, uh, the window wiper definitely is useful in this situation. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's doing nothing to my... Alright, well, taking first place in an S1 race. Wait, I just screwed that up. I think I did... Okay, I did take first. That Shelby was coming in hot, and I almost just thought I got second place. Just because I decided to spin around in the finish line. Man, that would have been the fattest L ever. Okay, well, I am extremely proud of this car in S1 class. Like, look at that. That's some acceleration. Like, that's acceleration now. Like, not on a Forza video game. Because, you know, Forza is pretty unrealistic when it comes to putting 7 million horsepower in a car or something like that. But, like... That's normal acceleration for, like, a car nowadays. Maybe a little bit better. Mm, I don't know. I would say that's normal acceleration. That's pretty impressive. I am very impressed. But the one thing that I really want to try out is the wheelie. Because if you read uh, AR12's video title, it says... The new best wheelie car. I'm pretty sure. I didn't read it. But it says something about a wheelie. So. I didn't watch this video. Because I didn't want to like. You know. I, 
I didn't want to spoil it or anything. But he's probably done a drift tune. He's probably done a great race tune, like this one. This one's pretty decent at racing. But he's probably done a wheelie tune, too. Because I really want to do a wheelie in this car. I want to see what it can do.